grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today for my brief daily message of, of hope and inspiration. I hope you're filled with hope today and inspiration and with joy. Uh, even amidst these difficult circumstances, uh, the light of Christ still shines. And um, the sun is coming out here in the northwest part of Houston, and we know that God still showers us with his love and with his blessings. As the sunlight cascades over us, so does his love and his mercy. Uh, but it's sometimes difficult, especially when we um, live in a world of broken relationships. What we're seeing being played out on the news today is a product of broken relationships starting in the home. Uh, these problems are not easily solved because we need to solve the problems in the home first. Uh, that includes uh, our children and our grandchildren and ourselves. Uh, but when relationships uh, fall apart, it's difficult. Uh, the song I played was from 1966 by Sir Paul McCartney called For No One. It's uh, known as a personal lament. Uh, it's a song about a broken relationship. Uh, and the words are very plaintive where he says, you know, the day breaks, your mind aches, you find that all her words of kindness linger on when she no longer needs you. And the chorus is, and in her eyes you see nothing, no sign of love behind the tears, cried for no one, the love that should have lasted years. Uh, so many songs have been written about uh, relationships that have fallen apart. I made a quick list. Uh, this morning of some of the songs that just I know about. Uh, songs about broken relationships. Uh, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart by Miley Cyrus. All You Had to Do Was Stay by Taylor Swift. Someone Like You by Adele. I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raitt. Stay by Rihanna. Crying by the great Roy Orbison. And then I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston, and then, of course, the greatest maybe of all, Elvis's song, Are You Lonesome Tonight? Songs that are written about broken relationships. But what happens if that broken relationship is between us and God? What happens? People tell me all the time that God is totally silent in their life, uh, and their prayer life is broken, and they feel like there is a disconnect between them and God. What happens when the broken relationship is with God? Well, first of all, let me say very clearly that from God's standpoint, his relationship with you is not broken. It's a perfectly clear, clean, connected, strong, vital relationship. He continues to love you with his whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Uh, he pours everything he has uh, into you. He gave his very best for you, sending his son Jesus into the world to die for you. So from God's standpoint, his relationship with you, with me, is not broken. It's very strong. The problem is on our end. And so what do we do when we feel that God is silent? He's never really silent. We just don't hear him. What do we do? Well, first of all, we need to recognize the fact that we have a problem. Uh, usually that problem results from uh, sinfulness on our part, from straying from his ways, just like lost sheep and forgetting that he is our God and ignoring him day after day after day, uh, not saying our prayers, uh, those lead us into broken relationships from our standpoint. And what we do is we confess our sins and return to him. Uh, I was reading one of the greatest personal laments ever written uh, in the Psalms, Psalm 51. What we do is we return back to the Lord we turn back to him. No matter where we are, no matter what we've done, no matter who we're with, no matter what, we turn back to him. In our hearts, and in our minds, and in our emotions, we turn back to him. We turn back to the Lord, because he's there with us anyway. And we confess the sins. Lord, I've strayed from your ways. Uh, the Psalm 51 puts it best. It says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak and upright 
in your judgment. And then at the end of this psalm, it says, where we first we confess our sins and then we ask for his mercy and renewal. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving health again and I will proclaim your goodness. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. If you feel like your relationship with God is broken, turn back to him now. Don't wait any longer. Now is the time. Uh, God's silence that you're perceiving or that I'm perceiving is our opportunity to turn back to him. He is merciful and his mercies are new every morning. Turn back to the Lord and restore that relationship. Uh, without a right relationship with God, no other relationship in our life is going to, to last. We need his love and his mercy to hold everything together. And you know what? From his standpoint, he's already doing that. So just turn to him now. Know that he loves you. He's there with you. Ask him to clear the channel so that you can hear his voice above all the others uh, in your life. And his voice is one of love. God bless you. Have a great day today.